there and welcome at Smell Yard. Quite some time ago I made a video where I made a painting using coffee and that was actually a lot of fun but I never gave it another go so I thought why not give this strange art medium another go and make a fun video about it. And if you are interested or intrigued about using coffee in your own art well keep watching the video I will share my five tips on how to use coffee in your painting. But before we can start painting we need a sketch so let's turn around the camera and let's start drawing. Okay, before we can start painting we need a sketch and I thought it was a fun idea to make a painting of the Joker. And as a little joke I drew him drinking, yeah, a cup of coffee. For paper I recommend watercolor paper as coffee is of course a wet medium, this will give you the best result. And if you would like to give painting with coffee a go, keep watching the video guys as I will share my 5 tips on working with this unique medium. Okay, the sketch is done, time to break out the brushes and of course, coffee. Okay guys, here are my 5 tips that could help you when you want to give painting with coffee a go. Tip number 1. Use instant coffee. For me, instant coffee is the most user-friendly type of coffee when it comes to painting. It's super easy to mix your tones and the powder completely dissolves when mixed with hot water. Other types of coffee might leave some residue on your paper and unless that's the effect you're going for, this is not what you want. Tip number 2. Prepare your basic tones before you start. It's a good idea to create the main color tones you will work with before you start painting. It's easy to create different color tones, the less water and the more coffee you use the darker the color gets and for the lighter colors just use less coffee and more water. Always test on a piece of scrap paper to check if you got the shades you need and adjust if necessary. It's a good idea to prepare 3 color tones in advance, a light one, a middle tone and a dark one. If you need shades in between of these 3 you can create them by adding several layers on top of each other. As painting with coffee works like watercolors, start with the lightest color first and go darker and darker as you keep adding layers to your painting. Tip number 3. Wait for your layers to dry. When you want to layer several tones on top of each other, I found out this works best when the previous layer is already dry. Make sure your brush is not too wet when adding the next layer because you might dissolve the previous layer. Coffee is of course water based and adding water on top of it will affect the layer you've put in before. Do not panic when this happens, you can always have another go when the surface is dry again. Tip number 4. Don't give up. When you start your painting, the early stages always look horrible and you might want to give up. This is certainly the case for me, but it's important to remain calm, to stay focused and just keep working on it and adding layer after layer. Suddenly you will reach a point in the process where things start to look better and from then on it's great fun. I chose to add some little details to the brown fine liner and to add some white highlights with white gouache, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Tip number 5. Have fun. Remember that art should always be a fun experience. Don't worry if your first painting doesn't give the expected results. Try to learn from it and just have another go. Coffee is a fun medium to work with, the results always look interesting and unique. And last but not least, the smell guys. While painting you're constantly surrounded by the wonderful aromas of coffee. Which is, when you like the smell of coffee of course, an extra perk of working with this medium. Even when finished your painting will keep the scent of coffee for quite some time. I hope this video inspired you guys to have a go at painting with coffee as well and I'm looking forward to see your creations. Don't hesitate to share them with me. Hey you, yes you. Would you like to own a sticker or a print or a t-shirt or a coffee mug with my art on it? Well from now on that's possible. I opened a web shop on Redbubble. Redbubble is a global online marketplace for print on demand products based on user submitted artwork. So I upload my art and they will print it for you on a wide range of cool products and gadgets. This way you can get yourself some original designs and support me as an artist at the same time. I've put a link in the description if you want to take a look. But you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm already very honored that you are here watching my video. And you can also support me for free by subscribing to my channel or just liking this video. Now back to making art.
Well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys like my painting of the Joker using coffee. And if you guys liked the video, why not hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell to be notified when I put out new videos. It's every Friday, a great way to start your weekend. And if you want to help me in this channel even more, please share this content on all your social media platforms. It will help a lot. I wish you all a great weekend, my friends. We will see each other again next Friday. Bye.